You got a mustache? Uh. What do you think? Do you think it's still there? Oh God, is it still there? No. It's gone. It was, it got, it was so gross. I had to get rid of it. I'm sorry. Uh, it was just, it was, it was causing me physical pain. It looked good. I, no, it looked good on a fucking webcam through the internet, which you guys don't understand. I have to make this very clear to anybody watching this stream. Uh, it, you, the, the amount of pixels that exist on any type of webcam or camera or anything, like, even just this right here, you, you're not seeing a clear picture of my face. For instance, huge zit. You have, you probably, you probably didn't even notice. Maybe you did notice that. But let me tell you something in real life. Like if I go in the mirror and I lean in, it's, it's ghastly. It's ghastly, but you, you just can't see that. You, you can kind of tell that there's something there. But if I, when I had that mustache, it, and when it's blurring and blending together from the webcam, it looks fine. But when I lean in and I'm looking in the mirror and, the, and I got a light on, I look like a scarecrow. I look like the, the scarecrow from the Wizard of Oz. It's just like, it's this, these spines that they just point in random directions. It looks bad. You're a grease ball. My hair is wet. I took a shower and it's going to dry in an hour and you're going to be like, well, why does hair look like, why does hair look like shit today? It's because it's just wet and then it just dries. I didn't put any product in my hair. I'm going to turn this way and it's going to be like this big poof and people are going to screenshot, like zoom in right there. See, his hairline is going back. Do you see? Yeah, it is. Good. Good. I can't wait to be ugly. Can I tell you? I can't wait till I'm a gross old man just sitting there like, like skin sagging down like to here. I, I can't wait till I'm fucking gross and old. I, I tell you, when, when I turned 30, on my 30th birthday, uh, I noticed that I had some thinning hair. And I was like, no, 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 it can't be. No, not yet. I'm 30. No, no, no. Maybe if I can individually give each one of these vitamins. Dude, I would put olive oil in my hair. Olive oil and tea tree oil. I would do like this slurry and I would put it all in my head. I would put olive oil all over my head. Back when I was 30, 31. I was terrified of losing my hair. I was like, no, I can't, I, I can't, it can't go. Uh, so I just, you know, read all these concoctions and, oh, you know, like tea tree oil stimulates hair growth. I started drinking a lot of, uh, you know, a lot more water, a lot of green tea. Uh, and I mean, at some point I kind of just gave up on that. I didn't really care anymore. People age. That's what happens when you turn 30, 40, 50 you age. Who cares? That's fine. I don't, I don't have a problem with it anymore. Um, I have to be really honest. I, I've put up this facade for a very long time and I'm like coming to terms with it right now. I don't care about Pac-Man. At all, like I really, I, I, like, oh, here we go, Pac-Man world, everyone, let's go! All oh, the Pac-Man museum. I kind of like don't care about any. Like I'm sitting here going, oh man, let's get hyped for Pac-Man. It's a Pac-Man party. I mean, I think Pac-Man's cool, but do I think he's this cool? <laughs> I don't think so. Pac-Man made you. Now that's fair. Pac-Man's naked. He doesn't have like SpongeBob pants on. Why is that weird for me to look at right now? Isn't that weird? Something's weird about this. What is it? Why is it so different? Doesn't he have pants on in, in Smash Brothers? Hold on. Whoa, this is actually 3D! Oh, God, this is 3D! Yeah, he does have... Yeah, that's right. I, get, I guess I'm just... I just don't remember. I don't know why this is so weird for me to look at right now. Oh, my God. It's been so... I've been waiting for this game for like 10 years. I'm gonna really cherish it. So if you don't, if, you, if you're not sure, if you're not a big Pac-Man fan, uh, that's fine. This is a remake of an old game for, I believe, PlayStation. Pac-Man World, I believe, was 1998. Scream already. I've screamed twice in 10 minutes of the stream starting. All right, ban that guy for as long as it takes for them to understand what they did wrong. Oh, all right. This yeah, this is cute. What's wrong with this? This is cute. This is a cute game. This is way better than Glover. I, I'll tell you, factually. What matter of absolute fact, this is way better than Glover. A hundred times better. And I love Glover. Glover's like one of my favorite N64 games. That's actually kind of fun. Oh, this game is pretty fun. Shh. We wouldn't see them up there. 
Pac-Man, just pick up a fucking rock and throw it up there. So wait, you Pac-Man has to eat a pellet for a ghost to get hurt. What is the what are the rules there though? Like if I eat a power pellet and I throw a rock at a ghost, will it hit will it hurt them? Or do I have to physically bite them? You're a fake fan. I'm just kidding around. I'm just messing around. I'm just kidding around. I'm just messing around. I'm just messing around. I'm kidding. I'm just messing around. That made me so mad. Did you see? I, I, I'm glad I have the camera on because I was actually fucking mad for one tenth of a second. It was just like, why'd you do that? I think this is a cute game. How much is this game? I don't know, dude. You bought it. I don't. I don't. I don't know. I don't remember. I bought it a a while ago when it first came out. Still don't have that? It's 30 bucks. Dude, you were waiting at GameStop at midnight for this. <laughs> Imagine getting that phone call. This is GameStop, uh, where you can buy and sell used games and make sure to check out uh, Sonic the Hedgehog. It's coming out, by the way. Can I get an interest in pre-ordering Sonic the Hedgehog? Um, no, thank you. When does... Do you guys do a midnight release for Pac-Man World Repack? Yeah, you betcha, man. Okay. Yeah, should I write your name down as uh, literally the only fucking person that's gonna be here? Yeah. <laughs> and then at midnight, I just don't go. It's like, no, that's actually, I don't like, that's dumb. I need to see, yeah, where is it? I'm look. I'm like looking at chat, I'm not looking. Yeah, guys, I might be going like moving the character, but I'm, I'm reading what you're saying. Stop reading chat. No, I will never stop reading chat. I will never stop picking up the one person here that says that my hair looks like a mustache, or that um, it looks like my room smells like fucking like pee. But I'm not gonna. I'm gonna always read those. You got a maze. Oh, okay. I gotta get everything. If I don't get every single one of these, I'll delete my Twitch channel. <laughs> get to stick around. That was actually really close. <laughs> that was way too close. I was very uncomfortable. I know it's a joke, right? But I was uncomfortable that whole time. I was... I was, I was not doing okay. I have 14... Uh, Extra lives, guys. I th sorry, 18. I have 18 lives. I don't think I'm going to use more than two of these. Oh! <laughs> I thought I could move it. <laughs> I thought I could move it as the big easy mode. Oh my god, what is easy mode? I'm get I'm getting Luigi'd right now. Oh, let Luigi play. It's, uh, you know I always say that. I've never played that game. I just know that that's exi You know maybe I have. No, I did, and I hated it. That's right. That's right. I played Super Mario 3D World, and I fucking hated every second of it. I really did. 3D World or 3D Land? What was the side scrolling one? Oh, the side scrolling new new Super Mario Brothers Wii. That's what I'm thinking of. No, not 3D World. New Super Mario Brothers Wii. With the two toads. That one sucks. That one sucks. Ass. That's the one I'm thinking of. I need the A. No, not Mario Maker. I'm thinking of Mar Oh my god, there's nothing- And I always go into stuff with an open mind. I really do. Especially a Mario game. You know, Mario Galaxy. Oh my god. Alright, let me ask you guys if this is a question. Uh, what do you think is the best Mario video game that has come out ever? And I'm talking across every platform. By the way, there are th some that are grayed out. Mario 64 is grayed out. As well as Super Mario World for the SNES. Those are both grayed out. You cannot pick those. They're grayed out. There are there are SS tier. You can't touch them. Odyssey? Odyssey was very... Yeah, Odyssey was very good. 
Odyssey was very good. Mm, I still think it's probably Galaxy. Although Galaxy made me puke. Well, I didn't actually throw up, but it made me feel like I was going to. Press the wrong button. Good thing I have a lot of lives. What did I say? I was going to go through two the whole game. That was inaccurate. Okay, in every single video game you've ever played, is it hang in midair is, is the jump button again. But I can't make it that. Right? It's usually like A. Right? A. But it's A and then X. That feels weird. Can we lower your voice? I'm watching this at full volume at my mother's funeral. What that would that would that's very odd. Full volume. You see, the thing is, you're just gonna look like a fucking lunatic. Right? That's not that's I have nothing to do with this. Oh, it's Dig Dug! They're not gonna think you're watching a stream, they're gonna think you're playing Pac-Man really loudly. That's all that's the only thing that you can really decipher. You're just gonna hear like He's just gonna be like this. Oh my god, what are you doing? Stop swearing in front of him. He's <laughs> coughing. Imagine and I can't believe this. I hit my mom's funeral. This guy, can you can you believe what this guy's saying? I mean, if I if I don't get all these, if I don't get every single one of these, I will uh, I will eat my Twitch channel. Spawn can't be. You already did that joke. Yeah, I did. reuse joke, Andy. Hey, dude, can you speak up? I'm in a construction site. I don't. <laughs> okay, hold on. This is important. Okay, I got something. <laughs> oh, bear with me for one minute. Hold on. Like this just this just a ton of work going on. They're building a skyscraper next to me. Is this too obvious? It's got to be way louder than me, right? Like, I could turn myself down. by now? Alright. Okay, that's enough. That's enough. That's enough. Okay. I don't know if I can take that. <laughs> I was like, why is it still on? That was this. Is it still on? This is your worst stream, 10 out of 10. Sorry about the construction, dude. I'm really sorry about the construction. Yeah, then I banned that person. Banned that person for like at least a day. Banned that person for a full day. I missed everything because of that. I want the person banned for a day. Of at least 24 hours. Permanently banned that person. No, 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 no. Permanent ban is like 10 minutes. 
Saying I'm going to ban you for a day means you're going to be gone for like a month. Saying ban that person for 10 minutes means don't actually ban them at all. I'm looking at the mod chat. So do you actually want us to ban that guy or not? Question marks. Like four people have written question marks in the mod chat. Five now. Um, no. You kind of look like Pac-Man. Am I having fun? Yeah. I'm having fun. I'm having fun. I just have an itchy face. Can somebody explain to me what that is, by the way? Like, for some reason, randomly. Pieces of my face will be itchy. It'll be like scratchy. Ooh. Like, mmm, mmm, mmm. Yeah. <clears throat> Dead skin? You have too much skin there. Can somebody just say, I don't know, dude, take your shirt off? Well, that's not what I asked. That's, I was asking, that's not what I was, what are you talking, why? Ban that person for 10 minutes. When are you going to play Splatoon 3? Um, after I play Splatoon 1 and 2, which I have not done yet. I don't like Splatoon, I told you already. Because it reminds me of that old Tony Hawk multiplayer game mode. And it used to, I would just get infuriated at it. Tony Hawk Pro Skater had this mode. Where we, I think it was called tagging or graffiti mode or something. And I would always get so screwed because a buddy of mine would get a 1 million point streak because how it worked is everything you touched in a combo, you ha whatever you touched during the combo would turn into your team's color. And I would just be playing and getting areas and, oh yeah, I got the railing, I got this ramp. And then somebody that was really good at the game would just fly through, do a million point thing on it across the whole game. And then I just had to literally sit around and do nothing because I could never get it back. So I played Splatoon for the first time, and it just brought back those awful memories of, oh, let's go! I'm, I'm, I'm going for it. I'm doing a good job. I'm, 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 I painted so much, and then I turn around, the whole thing is gone, and we just get absolutely dominated. Eat mad because bad? No, no, I'm not. I, I'm just bad at that game. That's it. There's no more. There's no argument. There is no argument. Yet. I know people like expect. Okay, this is the funny thing. Like, oh, mad because bad. Oh, you suck at it. That's why. Yeah. But, no, you're mad. You gotta get mad because you're not good at it. Like, no, yeah, I'm terrible at it. It's fucking, I'm dog shit at it. And I, that's why I don't play it. Uh, shit. Um, all right, well, thanks for the stream. You know where I do get mad, right? Because, so for instance, if you say, dude, oh, why? You just, you don't like it because you suck at it. You're just shitty at Splatoon. Yeah, Splatoon. Yeah, no, yeah, absolutely. Please, con please continue to ridicule me because I agree with you. But if, you, but if I'm playing Elden Ring and I see, like, mad because bad, it's like, shut the fuck up. How fuck you? How dare you? I know that I'm playing this game pretty well. And, like, I'm having a lot of trouble on this boss. How dare you, right? There's a difference. If this is a game that you know you like, and you're having trouble with it, if somebody says, wow, dude, skill issue. Like, fuck, I like this game. Don't, I, I want to be good at this game. I, d I just didn't even mean to do that. I just literally pressed the button three times. Can you do a ball pit stream? Oh, I might get lost. That would be one of those streams to be like, guys, I'm here. I've rented out a whole play place and let's go and have cameras everywhere. It's oh, wow. I can't believe it. It's just so fun. And then we just we go to a BRB at one point. I'm in like the tube hanging out. Wow, he went down the slide. All right, we'll be right back. And then you come back from the break and I'm just gone. I was like, where is he? Where the fuck is he? <laughs> I'm just like in the ball pit. I'm in the ball pit. Just lying flat. <laughs> and it would be it would be the first BRB. It would literally be BRB one after 15 minutes. Dude, the ball pit is gross. I I don't I'm not I don't yeah, I don't I would yeah, uh-uh. Dude, you've eaten boogers. You can't say that ball pits are gross. Would you eat somebody else's boogers? Would you eat someone else's boogers? Yes or no? The answer is absolutely no. So what are you talking about? If you've eaten boogers in your whole life before, and by the way, 
can we just back up a little bit? Can we just take a quick little break and, and understand? I don't, I don't do this shit. I don't I eat boogers. When, what are you describing? When did I eat boogers on stream? <laughs> I'm, I'm a grown man. You said you were going to drink Sturz Lugi. That's, no, but that's, you know, hold on. But that was for a very specific joke routine that I was going to commit to. I wasn't sitting there like, oh, I'm, oh, boogers. Okay, shut up. Everyone stop talking now. Are you fucking up my game? Why the fuck did I just do that? I hate, oh my God, what an idiot. What a fucking idiot. I forget that people just will clip that and share it with everybody. Oh, look what he said. He said, boogers. <laughs> I'm too old for this. I'm too old for this, I am. I'm way too old for this. Oh my god, I'm getting flustered. <laughs> I actually am. What? What is this? I ate the booger. Is I'm a booger eater, okay? I just I'm a this is a booger eating stream. I'm just eating boogers. When the webcam isn't on, I just dig up there and I eat the boogers. That's what I do. <laughs> What's this from? Why, why did I say that? What was the point of me saying this? I don't get it. That's from three years ago. But yeah, it was definitely, it was a joke though. I was probably just making a stupid joke. Can you imagine admitting to 700,000 people and current viewers that you eat boogers on stream? I mean, what the fuck? 700,000 viewers. Yeah, my channel's like really uh, dropped a lot. If you guys weren't here three or four years ago, I was averaging three to 500,000 concurrent viewers every day. I mean, the stream kind of fell. And once I started doing, like, the booger reading stuff and, like, jokes that people thought were, like, shitty, I lost a lot of people, I think. I was actually really surprised that I thought, you know, like, doing a routine where I, like, eat a bunch of boogers on stream was, like, oh, maybe it was funny for a minute, but I lost, like, three or four hundred thousand people concurrently. Do you look like you know French? I don't. I don't know any other languages. I speak three languages and I'm not even 18. I mean, that's... That's a huge skill to have. It really is. Think about... Think about this. It's... Oh. I can only truly communicate with a very limited amount of people. I only know English. My communication ability is much lower than yours. Because even if you use a translator, you are not truly understanding what you are saying. You are just phonetically repeating something because you know that's what it's supposed to sound like. You're not truly comprehending what you're saying. You're looking at a thing that's telling you what to say. You don't know exactly why or how, unless you actually learn the language fluently. He sounds like a teacher. Hold on, sorry, let me correct that. <laughs> oh, mm, boogers, right? Is that, that, is that what you want? <laughs> okay. <laughs> is that what you're looking for? No, let me rephrase that. What I meant to say was, uh, ah, uh, poly, poly move, Bronte! <laughs> let me make it so you, can, uh, you guys can understand. What's wrong with you? You get it. You understand why I just did that. If you don't know why I just did that, come on, Gwyn. You know what I mean? Come on. Wrong. I'm pressing A to hover. No, I don't want to play in easy mode. I'm holding A to hover because every other video game I've ever played was hold the jump button to hover. God! X, X, hold X. Hold X. Hold the X button. Hold X to do this. X. Hold X. No depth perception. No, it's called remembering muscle memory for every single platforming video game with a jump that's ever been recorded in human history since when the cavemen were making video games. From? <laughs> All right, settle down. Oh, I had um, 
I had Checkers or, or Raleigh's. I want to give you a review on it. I forgot about that. I want to give you a review about how I feel about Raleigh's. During my tier list, my fast food tier list stream, people were like, you've never had Checkers before? You've never had Raleigh's before? How is that possible? And I was like, I never had it. And I said, if I ever have it, I'll update you. And I had it, so I just thought, whoa, shit, I, I need to update you guys. <laughs> we, we don't care. We don't care. I, uh, whatever. I mean, I just want to let you know. Dude, we don't care. No, I don't care. Really? How, okay. Run a poll in the chat right now. And I don't be, don't. Oh, whatever. Like the streamer's going off on like a story or a tangent. I want to hear it. No, no, no. Like truly tell me the truth. Yes or no. Do you give a shit about that I've eaten at rallies? And be very honest. Like be, take away the fact that like, oh, you're here and hanging out. Do you actually give a shit about what I'm about to say at all? And I mean, truly be like, nah, I really don't give a fuck. Whoa. Okay. It's a lot so far. That's a very, and that's a big initial one. We're at we're 39% say no, I don't care. All right. We're at 37%. That means enough of you care. So I'm going to do it. The Rally's French fries are the best fast food French fries I've ever had in my entire life. In my entire life. They are the most unfucking believable French fries. They are unbelievably good. It is so mind-boggling how they could be that good. They're that good. They're unbelievable. Everything else is dog shit. The whole fucking rest of the whole restaurant. The, all right, the chicken strips were okay. They were uh, they were fine. But everything else, I was like, this is kind of not good. But I'm telling you right now, I would go to rallies and just get French fries and get a bunch of sauces and shit. How bad were the other food items? They were, they were just okay. It was like, I, I, okay, dog shit was probably rude. But the chicken fingers were just, they didn't really taste like it. It was just, they were very like five or six at five out of 10. <laughs> literally dog shit. They were literally dog shit, although they were five out of 10. Okay, everything else is like a four or five out of 10, but the fries being that good makes that like a C or a B tier place that I would go to. If I were to put rallies on that tier list, it'd be probably low B. Uh, you have to have them. If you're like, dude, what the fuck? Is this fast food french fries? Just eat them once. And you'll be like, wow, I, my life is forever different. <laughs> dude, I regret it. I should have said I don't care. I, I love McDonald's fries, but they can just... They can be very bad. I have had McDonald's, Burger King, Wendy's fries before that were just, just sad. And you just don't even really want them. They're just not, some, they're just not good. I was actually going to make a tweet about it. I was going to do a tweet where I took a bite out of one of the french fries and was just going to be like, look, look, guys, listen to this crunch. And that was going to be the whole video. And it was going to be like, oh, like, Raleigh's. This is, listen to this. And I was like, that's a fucking weird video, so I just didn't make it. I know a lot of people say, dude, McDonald's is so bad. Why do you have the palate of a five-year-old? Something about it. Those, somebody just said, the double cheeseburger from McDonald's is, is unmatched from any place I've had. It just is. And it's not that it's the best, oh, it's the best quality hamburger I've ever had. It's just, it just tastes good. It's just good every time I've ever had it. Child palate. Well, I didn't tell you about the fucking salmon that I like. Kids don't like salmon. I can't name you a five-year-old that's like, Oh, yeah, fresh salmon. I Can I have some? Sorry. Kids will eat anything. I don't know how many young... How many kids have you ever talked to? Kids do not eat anything? Huh? When I was a kid, I didn't just eat anything. I had Captain Crunch for dinner half the time because I told you that story, how I would be like, I want Captain Crunch for dinner. And my mother would be like, oh, okay, yeah, you can have Captain Crunch for dinner, but you've got it, you, 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 can, you can have it, but you have to eat dinner first. So I would be like, oh my God, I can't believe it. I get to eat Captain Crunch whenever I want. So my mother would, I would eat all my dinner and be like, I can't wait to eat Captain Crunch for dinner. And she would give me this little, like, it had to have been 
10 pellets. It had to have been 10 pellets. Total. What I would get after dinner. And I thought I was a scammer. I was like, yep. Mm-hmm. So I just have to eat my dinner and I can eat Captain Crunch for dinner? <laughs> I am the most intelligent kid in the world. And she was giving me the equivalent of like two spoonfuls of the shit. And I thought I was the smart one. Okay, so when I, when me and my siblings were younger, again, we thought we were the smartest people in the room. Uh, you know, when, uh, when, when you're, when you're a kid and it's like, you're supposed to be asleep in bed. You're supposed to be asleep, it's bedtime. And no, I'm staying up and I'm gonna talk and, and, and do stuff. And then, you know, you hear the, here comes, here comes mom or dad to see like, what's going on in here? And, you know, you don't want to get in trouble. You know, no, no, I, I'm asleep. I'm asleep. So it's like you put your head down and I'm asleep. I, I'm, I'm definitely sleeping. I was not talking. We were not messing around having fun in here, right? I was not having any fun in here. Uh, and then they would come over and my mother and my father would say, oh, really interesting. Okay. No, they, they look asleep. Yeah, I think they're asleep. It's really one foolproof way to know if somebody's truly sleeping. And they would come and take your arm and they would just lift it up and hold it. And they would say, well, if, I mean, if, if his arm stays up, he's asleep. And I would be sitting there going like this. And in my brain going, yup, got you, motherfucker. Mm -hmm. That's me, asleep. And then they'd go, oh, oh, okay. Very asleep. Oh, really? Asleep, asleep. Okay, that's okay. So it wasn't having any fun in here. And I thought I was so smart. And then eventually, eventually I caught on. And I did this soccer flop, right? So instead of going like this and holding it up, oh, if his arm stays up, he's asleep. Oh, okay. It turned into this. Like, no way. I, I'm not falling for that one. So exaggerated that I just flop it. And the same thing would happen. You were a stupid fucking kid. <laughs> Aren't we all, though? He did this when he was 22. <laughs> Ollie gives Derma 10 pellets of Captain Crunch after he finishes all his hamburger helper. That stuff is so fucking good. Oh, man. You just made me think of hamburger helper. What a bunch of junk. It's gross. No, it's not. Don't stop. Look, something can be weirdly unappetizing, but still be one of the best things you've ever eaten. There is that period where you are making Hamburger Helper, and it's at that gross phase where it's not really combined all the way, and it just looks like somebody threw up into your saucepan. And you're sitting there thinking, ugh, I hope this thickens up. This is like fucking awful. It happens every time. Every single time I've ever made Hamburger Helper, I've said the same thing. I, ha I do like the Sims shit. I'm sitting there cooking, and I go, Ugh. Ugh. Yuck. Ugh. And then when it's done, I eat it. And it's actually very good. I'm very happy, though. It's perfect slop food. That's the best way to describe it. Dude, I could go for a big fucking egg salad right now. I make a great egg salad. I make probably the best. I'm not. I'm trying to be very clear here. I make the best egg salad you've ever had in your life. I mean it. If I sold my egg salad, it would I'd be a fucking trillionaire. I would it would be it would be a, a story. Like, oh yeah, I, I I now own and operate like 50 restaurants where we we all we have is that we have a bunch of egg salad. That's like what we do. <laughs> Imagine the main menu item on your restaurant is an egg salad. You guys have prime rib? No, not at all. Oh, do you have any like seared chicken or any, you know, tuna or no, nothing. We have we have egg salad sandwiches, that's it. But then we'll do what you good at. I'm telling you, I make my egg salad and you're gonna fucking freak out. Why am I acting so weird? I don't know. The secret is it's something else you add to it. It's a secret recipe. I'm like, yeah, I'm not gonna give it to you. I have to be able to pass something down to my kids that's not watch me eat boogers on stream. You know what I mean? Like, uh, there has to be something else. Oh, yeah. What did Grandpa pass down? Oh, he was a fucking weirdo online. That's pretty much it. No. He left behind his secret. Grandpa left his... Oh, I'm going to write it I'm going to write it down on lined paper. 
and leave it out and make sure it's old and fucking shitty looking in 50 years. Make sure it's all stained and stuff so they can get it and go, whoa, boy, the way, all this is grandpa's secret egg salad recipe so I can leave something. It's not a secret, it's paprika. I don't, it's, I don't put paprika in my egg salad. And what an amateur move that would be, by the way. He puts hot sauce in it. Huh? Oh. Okay. Oh, he puts hot sauce in it. Yeah, that's what, that's what it is. That's the secret recipe. No, I'm not going to tell you because I need to leave a note for my grandkids. This is all I'm going to have. This is it. If I say it right now, then it, then it's over. And I can't write it down on a piece of lined paper and, like, burn it. All right, I'm going I'm to take a lighter and light it on fire. Burn it. Put it out. Put it out. Light it on fire. Burn it. Put it out. So it's this old document that they have to find. Throw it in a fireplace. Yeah, like, put it in a fireplace. And then like get it up, blow it up, blow it out, and make sure it makes sure it's all old and fucked up looking. And write on it, Grandpa's award-winning egg salad. Secret. And hey, bro, roll up a few hundreds. You know what I mean? Roll up like ten hundreds. And like roll it up together. So it's like, holy shit, we found this, we found this shit. Grandpa rolled up ten hundreds. You thought you were just getting egg salad? No, you're getting like five grand in cash too. At least. Yeah, you really wanna you really wanna get weird here? Yeah. There will be, so you guys right now, my great 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 grandchildren will be able to watch this stream and potentially see what you're writing. Do you understand how fucking strange that is? You understand how just bizarre that is? We always look at photos of old stuff. And it's just a picture of your great great grandfather. Like that. And that's it. And oh, he was a. He worked at a. He was. He was a. He worked. He, he made. He was, a, he was a blacksmith or something, right? Every booger eating comment I've made, did, my great 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 grandkids will be able to see it. So this is where it starts. Hi, kids. It's your great, 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 great grandfather. What I have done is I have buried secret family treasure somewhere. And you are going to start your journey right now. In the attic, there is a piece of paper. On that piece of paper is a note with some instructions on it. And I'm going to tell you the one hint you'll get here. Doll. Doll. And I'm gonna put it in a fucking doll or something. And that's how they can start. You spoiling it in the VOD? Well, well, no, no, no. What we'll do is we'll, um, I'll, we'll clip that section and then I'll delete the VOD. Right? I'm just, I'm just losing. I'm not even paying attention. <laughs> how cool would that be, though? Can you imagine? I'm gonna do it. You guys think I'm screwing around? I'm going to do this. I am going to make it apps. I'm going to do a big treasure hunt thing for my great, great, great grandkids. You know, the equivalent of when, okay, imagine the old photo of your, right now, your great, great, great grandmother or something. It was like, like on the back, you turn it over and it's the secret is in the doll. And then you, you remember, oh, wait, great, great, your grandma, the, the doll that's up in the attic. What does that mean? And they like take it apart or something and it Oh, there's the there's a there's a map in here. That's what I'm doing for my grandkids right now. So just wait, just wait another like 400 to 500 years and they'll figure it out. And it's going to be so cool and I'm going to go on I'm going to be a news article about it. It's going to be awesome. It'll be like, "Oh, it'll be like on Reddit. I found an old buried stream post." From my great 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 grandfather, he put us on a treasure hunt. And then when they get to the treasure, like I, I say, I'm gonna do all this. Like, oh wait, wait, there's a secret family recipe. No, it's just me, like smoking crack in you know, like a Polaroid. By the way, grandkids, B, the letter B, look for it. I may have wrote it on the ceiling in the bathroom, and then underneath that fucking ceiling tile, it could be the next step in your journey. Why would they watch this vod? How would it be a secret treasure hunt if I made it easy? There's uh, thousands of pieces of media that I've been in. 
How, you want me to make it easy? Dermis trying to give his ancestors a lot of leeway if he's expecting a random ceiling tile not to be replaced in 400 years. Yeah, that house probably won't even exist. They're probably just like fucking bulldozing. Well, how did anybody leave anything like that, right? Do I just have to bury it somewhere? Your grandkids are going to see a really enlarged picture of your ass. Yeah, I know. Why do you think I'm trying to figure out and food stuff to leave them? They're going to take one bite of the egg salad and go, wow, this is actually on par with that ass photo. I'm so glad he left it for us. No, no, how about this? The only way you can get the money is there's, I don't know, there's a code attached to it that you can only know if you, if you like spread my recipe on whatever TikTok of that time is. I gotta, I gotta figure out a way to make it so like you gotta, I, you, I've gotta be popular. I've got, my recipe's gotta be popular and it's gotta be a huge deal. And like only then when this exact account that, by the way, I made an account on, on TikTok and this account, here's the username and password. This account must get five to ten, at least five thousand likes on a egg salad video of my recipe, or it will not unlock. And the first thing it'll be me in a video with like a suit on. I go, you found it. Like they know how they always do that. Like the rich asshole is here recording a video, and let me tell you. Oh, so you found it. What you need to do is you need to make sure that you. Yeah, I'll go. I'll do a whole spiel. There's going to be a sentient AI of you by then. Not if I have a no sentient AI clause. Not if I make sure to tell my lawyers that under no circumstances am I going to be a sentient AI and, I'm, and we all sign it and it's fucking, you can't do it. Not if I put it a clause somewhere. Your consciousness is going to eventually enter public domain. Bro, I have not had enough beer to talk. I have not smoked enough fucking weed to have this conversation because what you just said is crazy and actually somehow makes bizarre sense. Is this game pretty poggers? It's it's all right. It, I think it's fun. It's dip. Look, this would be a great game to sit down and play with your grandchildren. Hey, grandkids. How are you? It's me, Jeremy, again. Grandpa Jeremy. I heard you found the uh, the note that I left you. Let me tell you something. Hold on, I don't want to lose. Yeah, why would it be in the same VOD? That's not fair. This has okay. Remind me in like five years to do this again. Because they need the second half of the code. I I get it. I was supposed to uh when I accidentally Oh oh not as hard. Uh, why are there still people here? <laughs> oh my god! You'd be a great politician because you have no soul. Whoa. Whoa, man. Dude, you need to relax. Oh, you want something insane? Okay, so... Last night... Uh oh, please. Last night or the night before, I had 10 dreams in a row. And Holly was, was next to me. And I kept on being in a dream. I would go to bed. She would hear me go. <laughs> and she'd go, hey, hey. And I'd go, Ugh! and it happened like 10 fucking times in a row. I was stun locked in a dream. It was ridiculous. It was so bad. Because you know when anytime you dream and you wake up from a dream and you go back and you have a second dream right after immediately after, it usually stops. After the second, third, and fourth time of that happening, you sit there in this weird panicked mode where you go, Oh my god, I don't want to go back to bed. Is it just gonna happen again? Why am I a dog? <laughs> yeah, like <laughs> But no, and so in one of the times, I'll tell you, it was so strange. After the fourth or fifth time, 
And they were such small, short dreams that made no sense. I remember one of them. Remember, I had to try to remember five to ten of these in a row. One of them where it was, I was in the hallway where the bedroom is over here. I was in the hallway. And I went into the, I opened up the bedroom door. And it was like, but there was no bed in there. It was empty. But in the room instead was just an empty room with no bed. And in a line facing the other way. One, two, three, four. And then another line. One, two, three, four. Looking this way. Were just these people in... in, in they had white hair and these black capes. Just black cloaks. All standing and staring away from the door. It was, it was just strange. Uh, one of the other times... So eventually... I know, who fucking cares if I'm losing in this game? Do you really care? When... I woke up, um, one of the last times, because Holly had been waking me up over and over again, and again, boom, I fall asleep, I wake up, I, and we'll wake up in the dream, essentially. So I fall asleep, and there I am, in that same area, away from the bedroom, and I was maybe ten feet away from the bedroom door again. But this time, I knew that Holly was going to wake me up, but I was sitting there going, oh, shit. No, I'm too far away. I'm not in the bedroom. I won't hear her wake me up next to me. I'm too far away. I can't, I won't be able to hear her. It was horrifying. Dogs are so funny, though. I don't get it. I know that they're just built so dear. I, I can't beat this because I don't, I'm, all right, let me listen to me. I'm, why don't I just pause the game? Uh, so Otto will put his head down. Okay, it's time for bed. Oh, yeah, he's, he gets comfortable asleep. I wish I had that ability. Dogs can just go right to sleep in a deep REM sleep immediately. I envy it so much. How are you supposed to avoid getting hit by that? I have to dash? There's no... Area to dash. Why is this guy so much harder than the whole rest of the entire video game? I only have eight lives left. How the fuck did you beat Melania? I, I, yeah, you think I'm paying that much attention to the pac man game? Because I am a good player in Dark Souls games. It doesn't necessarily translate to a Pac-Man remake game that, like, we're just talking about, like, we're talking about my descendants and me eating boogers and stuff. I'm not locked in playing against Melania. You can call that coping if you want, but I did, I beat Melania. So I'm sorry. You cannot say that I am a bad gamer because that exists. This I'm having a bad day. Okay. I'm having a bad day. I have my gamer license. I don't need to renew it right now. I don't need to renew it at Pac-Man World Remake. Hey, what if you wore roller skates and got pushed down a hill? Like in an old Jerry Lewis movie? You, you mean, oh, I, I don't know how to roller skate. Whoa! And it's, it's a bunch of comedy where I am going really fast and I'll, oh, I block my eyes because I'm about to hit a truck and then I go under the truck and I go, oh, Oh, what? Baby carriage. Baby carriage and mom. Ah! And then I go, I, I hit the baby carriage and boom, I got the baby in my arms. Ah! Oh my God. Ah! And then I, I, I make it to the, a bakery, right? And like the baker, I, I, I drop the baby. The baker catches the baby in a, a bunch of like dough or something, right? Yeah. And then finally, I, I make it all the way down. Excuse me. Uh, I was about to think about stopping playing this game until I just saw the next area. So, I'm sorry, we're staying. I was literally, I was literally about to say, hey, let's go, let's check out another game. Nope. Dreamer, can you please uh, get the world record for clapping? Yeah, sure, I'll do it right now. Hold on. I can't. How many, how many claps in one second is the world record? The one minute record is a 1100. 18 claps in one second? You can't do 18 in one second. Think about how fast that is. 
I think that was me doing the like. That was like. That was probably 15 times. Hello, my name's 708. I'm going to try to break the record um, of speed clapping. Wait, what? Go! What is happening here? Okay, so I see what's going on. So he's he's hitting the bottom uh, part of his palm with the top of his fingers on the opposite hand. So he's going like tick 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 tick. Let me try. Three, two, one. Timey. me. My arms are fucking burning! <laughs> ah! I'm so sorry. Don't do it. Don't do it down there. Don't do it down there. Don't do it down here. Don't do that down here. You do not want the sound of me playing while I'm doing it down here. That, that is so much strength to do that, even just fucking faking it. Even just faking it. That hurt bad. That's unbelievable. Trevor's whole arm weighs five pounds. Yeah. Is that what you think? That what you, that, say that again? Yeah, say that again. You think that's what you think? I got a big fucking arm. Nice turkey arms. Ah, uh, that's fine. Call me a turkey. Oh, he's got a turkey neck. He's got turkey arm. Turkey, turkeys are one of the most vicious fucking animals on earth. They're so deadly and they're crazy. They will attack you and they're they're very deadly. They're incredibly strong. You ever seen a turkey? Have you guys actually seen a turkey in real life? They are massive, majestic beasts. They're huge and they're very dangerous. Turkeys are docile. Turkeys are very, very strong. You know, like the zodiac signs? I wish mine was a turkey. Wow, I still died. <laughs>